Yo, Hare Krishna. I'm mad amped up and I'm mad happy right now. And you don't see me very happy very often, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm normally in a uh, I'm not I'm not sad and I'm not happy. I like to keep a, a even mood. I like to be even, you know what I'm saying? Not to attach to happiness or sadness cuz all of this stuff is mat material happiness and material sadness are all temporary. They're not permanent and they're not the real absolute state. So good. Why am I happy right now? Boom. Around 4th of July, right? Went upstate, visited some friends, you know, and I made a nice little video. I don't like to shout myself out. I don't like to give myself props for my videos or say I made a good video. Self-praise is no praise. But this video I'm particularly fond of. I spoke about the Mahabharat and the Bhagavad Gita and how it related. And it's like the spirit of God was just in me, man. It was just clicking on all cylinders. So I left. I made the video for someone named A.A. A. Austin Bay. And I left the video on the desktop at the friend's house and somehow or another you know through the shuffling of files it wound up in the recycle bin he sent me a copy of all of the files that's on his laptop and i'm looking through a flash drive and i'm like 10 million files and i can't find it but it was in his recycle bin so i just called him you know boom 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 so he dragged it back to his desktop now the next challenge is to find myself a way to get back upstate and get that video or find some way he could send it to me he doesn't have google so if he had google drive he could have just shared the video to gmail you know and i could have got it from there but hold on austin bay your video is coming man i hope you're pleased i hope all of the devotees throughout the universe i mean this video is dope there's mad energy there's subtle energy in it there's spiritual energy and like i said them words in that video wasn't mine man it came from a whole nother parallel platform it must be the mandala effect or something i don't know but i got about five minutes left but anyway last night i was invited to speak on a radio show with some powerful people there was brother jahuti there was brother pata there was sister sekmet kamaat she's the one that invited me and there was brother kaba kamani man those people were are the elite of the knowledge class i don't even feel worthy to touch their feet but as it is I humbly touch their feet in my mind and I just beg that they bless my crown in return. So the show was about the dog star and the dog days of summer. I'm watching the clock. The dog days of summer. Let me let me just really quick go into what I was trying to share. First of all, they were talking about time in the video. They kept mentioning time. Well, time is very important because when you look at the dog star as it rises over the now, the dog star becomes the fulcrum for the civilizations of India and Africa. The dog star is the fulcrum. Why would the dog star be the fulcrum? A fulcrum is like the middle section of a seashore which balances out two opposing points. So a middle point would be that star, the dog star, right? Canis Major. The opposite ends, one would be East Ethiopia, which is India, and the other one would be West Ethiopia, which is Africa, specifically Northeast Africa, from Kemet or Egypt all the way on down to Uganda. Okay, so that's what we're talking about as far as West Ethiopia. When that dog star rises over that Nile River, it's time for the Nile River to flood. And that is a very prosperous time because even though the Nile River annual flooding, it wrecks havoc sometimes because nobody can control the flood. But what it leaves behind, this hardship, this pain of this terrible flood, after it recedes, it leaves behind some black, rich, beautiful mud that caused the fruits and the vegetables to grow with super nutrients. And they will grow to a large size. I was told by a devotee that, you know, for years, everybody thought that people was invading Egypt because they had gold and they had knowledge. But another reason people were invading Egypt in the ancient time was because they had good food. Remember, it's not like today where you could go to Walmart or you could go to Chipotle and get some doodle -doo bread. And the reason why I mentioned doodle -doo bread is because Chipotle is one of the few people who stood up to the behemoth, to the Leviathan. They stood up and said, we're selling organic food. And the CDC said, oh, yeah. Centers for Disease Control said, oh, so you're going to try to ride on Monsanto? You're going to try to ride on Hillary Clinton? You're trying to ride on Obama? We have an established system by which we are going to cut 
down the Amazon rainforest and when it stops raining, the only food that will grow is food that is resistant to drought. And that's exactly the kinds of things that Monsanto is creating. They're creating drug resistant, bug resistant and environmentally resistant fruits and vegetables and different food grains. Listen, I got to go. I got like one minute, but check it. When the dog star rises, the Nile floods. It dumps beautiful black soil that the farmers use to grow. Simultaneously, if you go to India, when the dog star rises, when will the dog star rise? Well, I've seen different sources. Some people said February 10th, 2016, the dog star rose. Whatever it is, the dog days of August, the dog days of summer are now upon us. And they say that that is the time when the dog star appears. I do know for a fact that the dog star, if you want to see the dog star right now, all you got to do is look towards the sunrise right before the sun rises in the late summer, which is the period that we're going to enter after this full moon coming up. This full moon, Purnima, coming up next week is also known as the beginning of Chaturmas. Why? Because simultaneously while the Nile River was flooding over there in India, they were having the monsoon rains. It starts at the same time. These two civilizations were bouncing off of each other and the middle point between those two systems was the Sirius constellation, the Sirius star constellation. You look at Orion's belt, the three stars in Orion's belt will point directly at that star, the dog star, Canis Major. <laughs> In India during that time, the intellectual class stayed in one place for four months. They would not move. Normally they moved around and taught, but they stayed for four months in one spot. They would not eat certain foods for practical reasons because these foods would grow at or close to the ground and would become waterlogged. And you cannot offer waterlogged or moldy food to Lord Vishnu. So that's why they would stop eating for four months certain foods. Anyway, the fulcrum between these two civilizations is the dog star. And I wish they would have got more time to concentrate on that. My connection was bad and I apologize for that. That's what happens when you po. You understand? But don't worry, poverty is going away. Kubera is rocking with me now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. He came of his own accord. People told me to get the Kubera Yantra. I wasn't looking for Kubera Yantra, but there it is. So Kubera is rocking with me now. So we're going to see a little improvement on the financial aspect and strengthening of the spiritual aspect in my life. But man, I got so much to share and I got to get my thoughts together. But one last thought. When the dog star rises, if you go to South America and if you look at certain pyramids that are composed of steps, you will see a serpent going down the steps. It's the form of a shadow. That means it's time to plant. And then about six months later, you'll see that same serpent climbing back up the steps, meaning it's time to harvest. So even nature will tell you if you know how to use sacred geometry to build your structures, the stars themselves will harmonize with your structures. That's why these pyramids are in that shape. If you look up a science called Vastu Shastra, the science of space, and if you look up uh, an object called Ast Astadatu Pyramid, it is an eight metal pyramid and it will have the grids of the universe lined up in three different segments of this pyramid. Yo, it's dope, man. It's a lot of science out there that you can really use to tap into the ancestral stuff. But listen, I just want to bless everybody and say, Hare Krishna, I'm going to get my act together and get my thoughts together. I'm going to make a real video about the dog star that shows the connections and how these ancient civilizations were actually learning very, very valuable information from Krishna and Balaram because Krishna is the cultivator and Balaram is the one who uses the plow to change nature for the service of Krishna. But man, it's so much to be shared. Shout out to Kaba. Shout out to Sekhmet. Shout out to Pata. Shout out to Jehuti. Thank you for having me on that show. And I want to come back again. And brother A.A. A. Austin Bay. Yo, just pray for me that I get through so I could go get this video and upload it. It's over a half an hour I was kicking it just because you had questions that you needed answered. So I'm going to rock out right now. Sun Man Patu, the king of YouTube. Also known as Bakta Caprice on the Facebook. Oh yeah, another thing. Everybody's asking me what's my name and how to pronounce Bakta. Bakta is a title. Bakta is not my real name. People don't call me Bakta in the street. My birth name is Caprice. It's spelled Cap Rise. That's my birth name. If I die, I want to be cremated. Do not give me no tombstone because y'all will probably mess around and spell my name wrong. And I'll be eternally mad at everybody. So just... Okay, Bhakta Caprice. Bhakta is a title that just means devotee of Krishna. Caprice is my given name. All right, you could call me Caprice, call me some man Patu, but you will not call me a fool because I'm rocking with the Supreme Lord, the source of all intelligence. 
All glories to the assembled devotees. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shamsuhor, I'm out the door.